Hello there, collective. Welcome back to my platform, darlings. Everyone is welcome. Supporters, stalkers, karmics, everyone's welcome. Thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, share the content. So we have a uh, star C here. You have an abundance and inheritance, right? Um, something is being rediscovered. There is something being looked over about this inheritance that belongs to you. Someone or a group of people could have been blocking this from you. And this has been coming up quite a lot in readings about this abundance, this abundance, this abundance. Um, there's something going on where a group of people are fighting amongst themselves because they've been doing something over and over and over repeatedly, right? To block someone from receiving their abundance, their inheritance, either someone left something to you or this was something you worked for and they have been working behind the scenes to block it, right? Spirit is stepping in to protect your work. There may have been some type of celebration amongst a group of people, a family, or a couple that was ended very quickly, right? So they celebrated a little too early, basically. There is something here about a fake couple a fake marriage someone keeps coming into my energy i don't get the sense that you are a supporter you are a stalker and your your energy feels familiar and what i'm getting is that you are someone that's in a fake marriage and that marriage is coming to an end you are someone that is like a hobo explicit uh you are explicit with men and women but you prefer men you may have gotten married just so people could believe that you were one way, but you're not. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with you being into men. That's how you're born. That's how you want to be. That's your prerogative. But you hate yourself for this reason, so you take it out on other people. Because you come into my energy so often mask, trying to mask yourself, which you cannot from me, I get a lot about you. You are struggling with yourself internally and there's something about your instrument that you have a problem with. Either it's too small or there's something going on with it. You don't have the ability to please women and it frustrates you. I think at the beginning of your explicit relationship with men, you prefer to be with women, but you were unable to please women. So you started more so gearing towards men. Um, you feel inferior to women, so you come after them a lot, right? Um, uh, because you cannot be with them or you cannot be them, you feel inferior. So that inferiority that you have, inferiority co already complex that you have compared to, when it comes to women, pisses you off. So you go after them. The reason you come after me because I keep feeling you in my energy is because you have some type of intense unhealthy obsession with either me i could have worked with you i could have went to church with you there is something that has to do with you and i you just keep coming to my platform and you think you're going to block my platform from growing but it doesn't work that way um youtube does not work that way right so maybe you're playing with my numbers and you think that my platform you're going to be able to block it from exceeding succeeding or something it's not um anything you play with that's back up for it in youtube so this is why like, I keep coming on here and creating content regardless of what you and your partners in crimes are doing. YouTube has a backup for everything, okay? So um, I'm not going to say I'm sorry for you feeling inferior to women or something like that. Maybe you had some type of emotions for me, but I didn't reciprocate reciprocate that and you feel pissed off about that or you're insecure about it. That has nothing to do with me. You need to go figure that out. You're into men anyway, remember? Leave me alone. I'm not looking for you. You should not be looking for me. I don't read into people unless they come into my energy repeatedly. And you seem to have some type of addiction to me. Leave me alone, sir. Leave me alone. There's also a feminine stalker. You keep coming into my energy as well on my platform. Pretending to be a supporter, honey. You're not a supporter. It's a lot of, a few of you men that have female profiles are pretending to be females. I know that you are not a female. You are stalkers watching me one of you has something with children that you do you're like a pedal or something like that i'm not going to dig deep into that but just know that you have some legalities coming your way i saw you in a dream you have some legal issues coming your way because you do things with younger people one of you as well you sleep with employees so stay out of my energy i don't want your nasty energy infiltrating my platform and things like that 
Okay, it's like the more you come into my energy, the more that's revealed to me about you. And I just don't like what I'm learning about you all because it's sickening. A lot of you reside in like a negative energy that's just intolerable. I can't believe people wake up in this type of energies every day. It's tiresome. It's disgusting. It's low vibrational. I wish you all healing. Okay. So take the time to do that. But whoever is in this fake marriage is coming to an end. Someone here loves a connection with their soul twin because they partner up with this false couple. Okay. I don't know if this was like a forced collaboration or something like that, but th this is coming to an end. This collaboration is coming to an end. It doesn't matter how many of you come together to try to defeat a star C is not happening. You will not be defeating this person. You are, are about to be experiencing a lot of betrayal and setbacks endings that is well deserved. It's that you are about to be having a really horrible time ahead of you and you've been warned repeatedly to leave these star c energies alone but you won't like the ones that keep stalking me coming on my platform pretending to be supporters honey i know who supporters are and i know who's not and you all do not give the vibes of supporters it doesn't matter how much you say, oh, thank you for this video. Thank you for clarity. Oh, you know, is there you in the pit? Honey, I know who you are. Like, I can literally see each of you faces behind your phones, your computers, watching me. One of you watch me on a laptop. It's like a grayish, silverish laptop. You sit there and you watch me. You watch my content repeatedly. You literally wait for me to release content just so you can be the first one to watch. Like, I see you all. Stop coming into my energy. Okay? One of you are pissed off because you're realizing you celebrated too early while trying to defeat someone. Like, you're playing with someone's work behind the scenes. It's like you. It's like someone creating content like myself, and let's let's say one day they have three hundred thousand views or something, and then the next day they wake up and they have like a hundred views, and then you go support us, uh, celebrating and telling people, yeah, I was the one who you know who did that. I messed with her numbers or I messed with his numbers. That's why it's not at three hundred thousand. Yeah, we did that. That was me. That was me. And you look so stupid doing that and reckless, and you don't realize people are looking at you like you have a mental illness. Wish you do some of you that watch me you stalkers you men you have a mental illness there's one of you in specific this is a caucasian man you have a mental illness that you need to go and get therapy to address like you've been avoiding that for years pretending like you don't know but you know you have a mental illness that you need to go and take care of this is why this is part of the reason why you've been trying to destroy a lot of women for a long time because you have a mental imbalance and you are emotionally dead. Like your heart does not have any type of love in it. The only time you like people is if you can use them for something. You can get something out of them. But when you cannot manipulate people and get something out of them, you just see them as worthless. And God forbid you cannot take them down. Oh my gosh. You become their worst enemy in the world. You need to grow up. I don't know what, what in the... Actually, I do. That was revealed to me as well. But why? one of the reasons why you are the way you are, something happened to you when you were a child and, and you never healed from that. We've all had hard experiences, okay? But we don't come out here taking out our anger and uh, bitterness and stuff like that on people. Some of us are not bitter. We've been hurt. People try to destroy us, people like you. But we choose to wake up every day and do something better with our lives. And then people like you that refuse to heal come along and try to destroy the lives that we are trying to build. You need to go to therapy. I don't know if the people around you are too afraid to tell you or they just don't care about you. But sir, you need to go and get therapy. You're going to end up in prison, federal charges for the things that you are doing. You've been stalking people for years. It's not just me. It's years. And there are records of everything you've been doing online for years. You may think that you've been masking your IP address. No. Even though you are lazy at your 9 to 5, you are someone that's habitual when it comes to stalking. So people, your, your IP address is known. There's nothing you've been able to do to mask that. There's a whole investigation that's going on just for you. 
Okay? So at uh, this time, you all are taking, trying to stop us from creating our contents, doing our work and things like that, trying to distract us. It's not happening. You feel insecure about yourself. That has nothing to do with us. We didn't do anything to you. I don't know if you are like a, a gay man that went straight by seeing a heterosexual woman or something. Maybe you seen me, made you turn straight or something for a second and you missed that feeling. I can't help you with that. I'm straight. I don't date men that go both ways. Okay? I don't know you personally like that. Don't want to. I don't have any vendetta against you. Never have, never will. I don't pay attention to people that uh, detail. Unless you are like a child of mine, a parent of mine, a lover of mine, I really don't give a crap what you have going on in your life. But because you keep coming into my energy, this is why I'm going in on you. Go get help because you need it. Okay? Someone in here is upset because they loved it, lost their chance with their soul twin. It's like someone didn't realize that you two were soul mates when they met you. And they went ahead and partnered up with this karmic bearded couple. And now they've lost their opportunity with you. They, someone wanted to take like some type of charge and come into you to confess the truth to you, to confess love to you and things like that. And they're being blocked out of your energy. They're being left out in the cold because the betrayal that they did behind your back is just too heavy for it to be forgiven. Okay. By the universe. It's not like they're holding it against him, but he has to pay his karma. Everyone has to pay their karma. Okay, because the betrayal this person did, there's nothing you did to deserve it. So they have to pay for that. Okay, um, this is how it goes. It doesn't matter who you are, whether you two are soul twins, or whatever. If they do something, break a universal law, they still have to experience their karma. So someone does have an ending that's coming for them. Someone is really pissed off that they missed their opportunity with you because they listen to this karmic couple. They listen to this toxic family dynamic of a group. They're not even related, but because they've been so karmic together for a long time, they have this delusional mindset that they are family, even though none of them like each other. Okay. Like a lot of you come into my energy and everything about you keeps being revealed to me and I keep being quiet, but you keep coming back and you keep assuming that I don't know you all are there. I know. And you all know that I'm gifted. One of you, you dislike me, but you are afraid of me because of the things I know about you. This so one of you is sitting, trying to figure out if I know about your situation. Yes, dear, I do. Leave me alone. Okay? You're picking a fight with someone that's not even fighting back with you. It's like someone going on about their life every day, blasty, blasty, focusing on growth, healing their family, taking care of their family, but then you all are like going out of your way to cause them stagnation, cause them endings and things like that. And it's so redundant and so stupid that it's like, are these people or are these like just devils? In f you have to be like devils or uh, uh, demonic entities in bodies because the way you all behave is retarded. It's immature as heck. It's like you saw a star see and you decided, hey, they look like an easy pick. They look really dumb because the person was not toxic like the rest of you. You decided that they were dumb and easy to pick on, only for you to find out that you could not destroy this person. Not because there are more, uh, uh, not because they're God, but because of the forces that surrounds this person. It's like the, the level of immaturity amongst all of you combined it's ridiculous. It's like there's literally no one among you that have enough sense to say, hey, this does not make sense. Why are we coming after this person? They never did anything to us. Oh, wait, because we lie and we have to keep up the lie. That's why we keep doing this. That's why we have to keep coming after this person. Right? It's just not making sense. Whoever you are coming for, whether it's me, the other star sees their pathway is clear. There's nothing you all can do to block us. This age of Aquarius, this is the age of star sees. The 144,000, all purposes will be fulfilled. All contracts will be fulfilled. There's nothing you all can do to stop what's coming, what's going on, what's supposed to happen. 
And everything you all do is just meant to help us grow. And it's going to help you all grow too. For you, that specific masculine that keeps stalking me, I am a rule awakening for you. One of the reasons why you are obsessed with me is because you've been able to take down a lot of other star seeds, but for some reason you haven't been able to take me down even though you said I was stupid and I only survived situations because of luck. There's nothing lucky about me. What I am is protected and I will always be protected. There's nothing you can do that's ever going to destroy my forward movement, sir. Now you've been doing things with your partners, hoping that I will come on social media and be disrespectful and be, you know, just reckless with my mouth and things like that. That's not me, dear. And I think you all know that. I will never get on here, curse you out of your names and things like that. But what I will do is tell you about yourself because the people that you are, are around don't have your best interest at heart. So they're not going to tell you, hey, let's not do this. This is not going to end pretty for us. This is how this King of Cups ended up trapping himself with you all or trapping himself in some legal issues <clears throat> because he didn't have a mind of his own to think outside of the box that the stuff he was doing, co the collaboration he was getting into was not for his best interest. Now he's trapped in something he cannot get out of, right? He's trapped with the rest of you lunatics, You've been doing this for years and years and years, and you've gotten comfortable defeating other people, and now you came across the star seed you cannot take down. And so now you are reckless. You're angry. You're throwing a fit. I have to take her down. I have to take him down. Someone in here believes that they are a powerful witch. You're not. <coughs> You're not. You, what you are is like playground magic. You're immature as heck. You, you have a lot of growing up to do. You may have like a mental issue going on. Your IQ is staying very low. Okay? So you are uh, welcome to keep coming into my energy. And from time to time, I will do these reads to address you. Because obviously you think you're getting away with something. You're not. The moment you all click watch... On my channel, I knew who you were before you even came about. It's like your energies are so heavy and disgusting. People can feel them a mile away. A click away. Okay? So, star seeds are still moving forward. There's nothing you all can do to block any of us because it's time. It's well overdue for us to be on our way to destiny. Okay? We're going to be living in our truth, taking charge. There are new challenges coming, but we're going to face them fearlessly with the support and the protection of the universe. We're taking charge of our life. We may appear to be meek and feeble, but we're not. That's part of who we are. We're supposed to be gentle in nature. But when you mess with us, we become reckless. Okay? Some of the people you all are messing with, you don't even understand their, their grassroots, their lineages, like how far they go back. Some of us have been coming to this planet since this planet was just water. Water was the first element, the first thing that was created. Okay? So we've been coming here since this planet was just water. You all have problems with us because we're not from this planet and you all think that we are trying to take a planet away from you. The planet does not belong to you. If we created the planet, that means the planet belongs to us. So you are our, our children here. Beings used to come here for vacation. This planet was created for vacation. Okay? So <laughs> this whole notion that we are trying to take over something is redundant. It's stupid. The planet belongs to the beings from other worlds because they created it. How can someone take something from you that already belongs to them? This is like you are coming after like the keepers of the garden. People say, oh, the Garden of Eden is in Ethiopia. That is so stupid. Earth is the garden. Earth is the garden. There is no hidden garden in Ethiopia along the Nile, wherever else they're seeing, it is the planet Earth. 
And when you all come after star seeds, what you're doing is coming after the keepers of the garden. Now, do you really think Mother Nature is going to sit back and let you come after one of her keepers? One of her, one of her caregivers? Do you really think the universe is going to sit back and let you destroy one of their creators? Huh? Make it make sense. We have new opportunities coming our way, honey. <laughs> and this is what's pissing you off. It's like you destroy one thing and then something better is offered. And that's how it's going to be. You destroy A, B is going to be even better than A. If you manage to destroy B, C is going to be even better than a, a B. So on and so forth. And when we get to Z, we start getting into the numbers. The universe always has a backup. So I hope you all have money for the rest of your life to keep doing what it is you're doing. And hopefully when some of you get locked up, you'll have people out here to keep paying to block these star seeds from achieving their purpose, fulfilling their purpose. Because that's how long this battle is going to be going on. This battle of good and evil has been going on for the entirety of creation. Since the beginning of time, this will be the reason why there is a separation between us and source. Okay, so this is a battle that's everlasting. And in this lifetime, I hope you all have enough money to keep paying these brainless people that keep accepting a, a bribery from you all to interfere with other people's lives, causing themselves endings. Okay, you are don't have anything that you can do to block a star C from fulfilling their purpose. It's set up that way. Their, 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 main, so their main part of the contract is to keep going. No matter what's going on around you, keep going. Trust that the universe has you. It's going to cover you. It's going to protect you. If you do not feel protected, call on the universe. Let them know that you want and need protection, and they will do just that. Okay, most of you, your ancestors are not even with you because they are disgusted at your behaviors. This is like a human going up against uh, a, 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 a divine being. And your ancestors do not have the gifts, abilities, skills, or tools to defeat these beings. But because you're so stubborn and so hateful, so insecure, you're going to keep doing it, not realizing your ancestors have stepped away from you. At this point, they're like, well, we've told him, we've told her, don't do that anymore. We can't help you against these beings, but they're not listening, so we're just going to step away. Someone here, your grandmother passed away, and she's just flabbergasted at your behavior. Like, she's just over it. Like, she's been trying to gently guide you into the right direction, but you are not listening. And she's just, like, washing her hands off of you because she's tired. Some of you ancestors cannot rest in peace because of the way you behave. You're so bitter and full of so much hate that you are not able to guide some of your ancestors out of darkness. And they've been suffering for thousands of years. And when you incarnated, they were hoping... This is our chance to get out of this limbo, this in-between world, where we're just lingering, watching these humans go on about their life. We can't move on to the next world. They were hoping that you would help them, but you cannot because you're full of hate. And then you spend all day projecting onto other people. What you don't like about yourself, you project onto other people. There's a feminine energy amongst you all that does this on a regular. She tells lies on people, even on you all that she's with, that she's working with. She lies. This woman is insecure. She thinks she's an empress. Empresses are not loose. You've been ran through so many times, honey. You are so cheap. Even the dollar menu at McDonald's is too expensive for you to be on. Sit down somewhere. New beginnings, new opportunities, in work is judgment, okay? This king of cups is trapped in something. He went and accepted some type of offer, became part of an, a collaboration to take someone down, but they cannot. The person they were trying to take down is still moving forward. 
This person has a lot of opportunities coming in business. Okay? Someone is upset because someone is speaking the truth, living the truth, standing up for themselves, not being a pushover. There's a queen of swords in here that's extremely toxic. Toxic as heck. But the truth is being seen about her. This woman is trying to block some type of news from coming in. She's been doing this for a while. She's trying to block some type of news from coming in, trying to steal an opportunity from a queen of wands. And there's a queen of wands in here too that has been working with you all over time. This is a false queen of wands. Because true queen of wands, they don't play like that. All of you are false as heck. You misrepresent yourself to the public, but behind closed doors, you all are so broken. You don't even like to look at yourselves in the mirrors because what you see, you don't like. You feel unfulfilled in life. You don't feel worthy. This is why you all have to group together to come after one person. And if you've been coming after one person for so long and you're not succeeding, how is it logical to keep going forward? Go get healing, but most of you don't want to face the demons that you need to in order to heal, so you're going to keep playing childish games because you think you are getting some type of victory or fulfillment out of it. It's an illusion. You're delusional. You're not getting any type of fulfillment out of it. Those temporary fulfillment you're getting is nothing. It's an illusion because when you all wake up the next day, there's a new problem that you have to face. And you're just piling up and piling up and piling up. That's how you got to where you are. Because you kept turning a blind eye to the problems that you had with yourself. Refusing to heal. Most of you are thieves. Some of you didn't start off like this. But because you were pure pressure into something, you took the bait. You thought, oh, that's one star C. What could go wrong, my dear, everything, everything. Some of you are about to be going to prison because you committed federal crimes. Some of you are about to be losing your cars, your homes, your houses, right? Because you saw one star C and you thought, <laughs> what does it hurt? Everything in your life, your stability, your sanity. One of you here has a really horrible mental state of being. You may end up in a mental asylum. And this is something you were wishing for someone else, a star seed. And this could be your fit, that you're going to end up in a, end up in a mental asylum because you're so damaged. I'm hearing something about money fraud, wire fraud, overseas bank accounts. Some of you, your assets are about to be frozen because you think you are powerful because of the amount of money you have. The connections you have are going to want nothing to do with you when they find out what you've been a part of. You've been telling a lot of lies on someone and the truth is being revealed and it's going to make people wash their hands off of you. It's like people are going to see you and be like, dang, that's what you've been up to? You're into that? You did that to that person and they didn't even deserve it? You mean you don't even know this person that well and you were telling all of these lies and doing all of this stuff? You want to tell me you all were invading this per person's privacy just to keep a lie up? Like the stuff you all have coming for you is redundant. It's ridiculous. Someone, one of you, you're going to prison, right? And the very experience you try to put this star seed through or the very experience you put this star seed through is something you are going to go through. One of you at work as well, you're going to be experiencing that. It's that you were playing mental games with someone and you are about to go through the very same thing. Because you just don't know when to stop. And this is how broken you are. You don't know when to stop. It's like you push a red button. They say, don't push that again, dear. It's not safe to do that. And you're like, well, I'm going to push it again. You push it again. Don't do that, dear. You push it. Don't do that, dear. And then you push it again. And then they just stop telling you not to push it. And then before you know it, you get ran over by a train. Right? And this is because you all are so gone. This is all for money. This is all for hate. Insecurity jealousy, envy, not because someone did something to you, 
but because you are unhappy with yourself, you'll do anything for money. You can be bought. You've been bought. And you are pissed off that someone that you are coming after is free to be themselves. Free to live life as they please. No one has to tell them, go here, go do that, wake up this time. Uh, you can't talk to that person. You can't hang out with that person. You, some of you are pissed off because you have some type of COVID going on that you wanted to put a star seed into. And either he or she told you that they didn't want to be a part of it long ahead of time before you even introduced them to the COVID. And it pissed you guys off. It's that like you wanted someone to feel left out, but they don't feel left out. It's that you're trying to make someone part of something that they are meant to dismantle. Most star seeds are not here to be part of any type of cult. They go against the very nature of humanity because of, the, because of what you all have turned them into. So the star seed may have said, I will never be part of a cult. I don't like being part of groups and things like that. Or maybe he or she said something about the behaviors that you all were indulging in and they spoke down about it and you felt like they were coming after you. It's not like the person was coming after you. People have rights to speak their minds. People have the right to speak their minds. If you feel like it's okay to lay with everyone, that's you. But a star C has the right to say they, they don't want to do that. An empress can say, I will never do that. That's because they have self-respect for themselves. And the reason why you're bothered by that is because you know you like self-respect. And that's why you are bothered about that empress or that star scene saying that they will not lay with just any and anyone, any and everyone, and they're not going to lay with certain people. I remember, remember one of my last jobs, I was sharing an office with this woman. And she got pissed off because I said I wouldn't date someone that was in the company. I said, I would never date that person. They're not my type. What is wrong with saying that? They're not my type. What do you want me to lie? It's like I would have men coming towards me to flirt, and then I'm I'm not interested. And when she and I are talking, I brought it up, and I'm like, I'm not interested in that. That's not my type. And she was bothered by that. That let me know that she had healing to do. Why are you bothered by me saying what I will and will not do? Who I will and will not date? That's my privilege to have. That's my limitations to have. That's my boundaries to set. And because you don't have any boundaries, that's why you are bothered by minds. But just because you're bothered by it does not mean I'm going to dismantle my boundaries to make you feel comfortable. I still will not date him or them. Okay? This queen of wands is still working over time. All of the work that she put in has gone through the drain. And it's going to keep going through the drain. She's having a lot of nightmares. This is what we have down here. The nine of swords. This woman is extremely hunted. Because of the endings that she's experiencing. There's a relationship she was in and the masculine is leaving her because he sees her for exactly who she is. A Jizzy Bell. A gold digger. Someone that's in balance. So he's walking away from her. This union is over. Okay? This masculine may want to come and partner up with you, Queen of Pentacles. It's rare with caution. This person wants to be married to you, have some, the brand, some type of brand new passionate beginning in love with you. This person is not familiar with unconditional love. So just be mindful. This is what they want to have with you. They want you to, to have equal give and take, but this is someone that needs healing. Because of the type of woman he's been dating and the type of types of behaviors and activities he's been partaking in. So this is someone that is on a long journey to heal. But he wants to marry you, have a brand new passionate beginning with you in love, move forward, hoping that you two can still under common waters. There's still some type of plan by this group to cause interference. It's like these people painted you out to be devilish, but you're appearing to be someone that's mentally stable. Calm, collect, focused on your work, your pentacles, your family, growth. 
but they're still out here waking up every day fighting amongst themselves. But when it comes to you, they know how to come together to cause you destruction or at least try to cause you destruction. Because that's the common, that's the only common denominator denominator that keeps them together. You taking you down. Can you imagine how childish and immature that is? How broken you have to be to commit your day to taking someone down? Are you some of these people have to be paid for how committed they are? Because it's like, for example, with me, as soon as I post, there's a karmic under there trying to be nice. It's like, I know who you are, darling, but I'm still going to like this comment. I'm still going to answer your question during my lives because you obviously need attention. You must not be getting enough attention where you are, or you're not getting the right amount of attention. But if you think coming into my life, trying to distract me is going to cause me some type of heartache, headache, or I'm going to decide that I don't want to do my content anymore. You are definitely retarded. Okay. This abundance is still in store. This star sea is still going to be getting what's due to them. And you, this karmic family dynamic, you all are having an ending. This is how it's always been planned to happen. Okay. None of you understand loyalty because you've never been loyal to each other. You've never met anyone that's loyal. And when you meet people that are loyal, you are intimidated by them. So you try to take them down. I've had someone, listen, everything I talk about on my platform, I've had some type of experience with it. That, that very woman that I was sharing an office with, this woman thought that she was so sneaky. But I was like, does this woman know that I was born with my eye open? Like, I know you. I was friends with one of her, let's call it friendship. I was close to one of the co-workers in the building. She was a receptionist. The woman that I shared an office with, she wanted to prove that not everyone was uh, uh, happy together, that there were problems in the building, no one really liked each other. This was her way of trying to destroy my light about me because she wanted me to be someone that was dark. This was someone going around telling a lot of lies and things like that, trying to get people to distance themselves from me and things like that. And I knew what she was doing. But the very day that she went out of her way, to show that all of these people gossip, they do this. And I knew that she was the common denominator when it came to the gossip. I just looked at her like, honey, you don't even know who you're talking to. Like I have to 411, the 911, everything on you all. Like I know how you all operate. But I'm going to show up here every day appearing naive. Like I don't know my behind from my mouth. Because this is survival mode for me now. And as soon as my ancestors say it's time to leave, you best believe I'm jumping boat. And that's exactly what I did. And while I was with them, I saw exactly what they were. It was a cult like mentality. They were a bunch of bullies with nothing going on internally or mentally. Intimidated because someone of the light was amongst them that they could not take down. There was a masculine in there with a scar on his head throwing like root magic and stuff at me. You know, all of a sudden, I came to work one day. I'm in the basement of the building trying to get batteries from someone downstairs. And he comes there. Mind you, this man is bald-headed with a scar on his head. He's older, in like his 50s or something. I didn't find this man attractive. But on this specific day, this is how I knew these people were into witchcraft. This man did not look like himself at the age that he was. This man looked like he was in his 30s or his 40s. He had hair now, was well built. His gut had disappeared. He was all muscles and stuff. And I, I froze for a second because, honey, I'm someone that has the thing for tall, dark, and handsome men, right? I stopped for a second. I said, hold up. Something is not right. And I'm like, he looks different today. He looks very handsome. What is going on? Honey, when I said my ancestors slapped me out of that spell real quick, all of a sudden, I saw the bald head, the scar. I'm like, God, 
dang it. These people are into witchcraft. And then he started sending me spell work. Like he was sending me spell work before this. And I kept, when I would come home, I would keep seeing him. And I'm like, why do I keep seeing this man? I'm not attracted to this man. But this is what these people do. They send dark work towards you, dark energy, root magic. The dark workers use root magic and mental magic. And then sometimes they'll try to interfere with your, with your solar plexus. This is where your creativity, your uh, uh, imagination, all of that is. And they try to interfere with that. When they get desperate and they start interfering, uh, <coughs> with your intuition because they don't want you to see the truth about them. But they say, how can I not? What I have is naturally me. I can't pretend not to see you for who you are. But honey, when I had that experience with that man that day, things were never the same again. I said, you are in voodoo. You are in vo Everybody in here is in voodoo. I don't care until my spirit, my ancestors tells me different. Everyone in this building is in voodoo. You are a occult. You're a coven. And that's how I'm going to see you till I leave from here. I'm not interested in dating any of you. I'm not interested in hanging out with any of you outside of this building. I'm HR in this building. I'm going to be kind and respectful to everyone. But when I leave this building, I don't know you. Because I don't want no parts of what you are a part of. Okay? And I kid you not, this man had an obsession. I would be walking and would see him standing on the side of the wall watching me. Just watching me. And I started going home and having nightmares, watching, have, seeing him standing over my body. I said, mm-mm, ancestors, I need you all to hurry up and get me out of this building because it is time for me to go. Because I'm starting to see people standing over my body. Okay. I started having dreams about him breaking into my house. And I think this is because this man was getting frustrated because he was not getting what he wanted from me. And I never did anything to get him to think that I was interested in him. Regardless of how much root magic he did, I never, you know, did anything to say, Hi, sir. Would you like to go out? Or I, I didn't do anything out of the norm. I smiled with everyone in the company, even though I knew what they were. And mind you, this man was married as well. Honey, like, I have to fool one, one on all of you. Like, stop it. But this is how dark workers operate. And this toxic group, you all have endings. You're going to keep fighting amongst yourself. This group, this clothing, whatever it is you are, are in, is dismantled. It's over. Life will never be the same with you all again. Someone here has an altar where they had, like, a voodoo doll that it keeps stabbing. I don't know if you have a voodoo doll of me, honey. You can stab all you want. You're going to keep seeing me. I'm going to keep posting content. Whoever this star C is that you have a voodoo doll of is not going to lead to nothing. So you can stab all you want. You can chant all you want. Someone keeps doing like shut up spells. No. We, you don't have authority over us. We have authority over you and your master. So you two need to sit down. You all need to sit down somewhere. Because the amount of destruction you have coming your way, words alone cannot even emphasize how bad it's going to be for you all. And a lot of you are in are just now beginning the ending that you are supposed to be experiencing. And it's going to be coming, coming repeatedly one after the other, one after the other. Because this is how much effort you were putting in to take someone down. Have a blessed day.